So my favorite color growing up was green. For some reason, I was absolutely obsessed with green. And my grandmother's car was green over green, and that ended up being my first car too. So green has always had a very special place in my heart. The name Porsche represents one of the most distinguished automotive brands in the world. But they're also one of the most colorful. The 70s was when Porsche really broke into Technicolor. Their initial offering of simple but bright colors paired gloriously with the 911. I mean, come on. Is there another car that looks as good in every color across the spectrum than the 911? I mean, that's a rhetorical question. And if you want to go back to originally... So when we were coming up with a big answer to what color our Porsche restoration would be, we needed to figure out what colors it wouldn't be. Pinks, yellows, reds, and whites have all taken podiums. Grays have been a standard bearer of Porsche models, representing prestige and tradition, but also reimagining technology and tomorrow. Blue hues like Mexico, Miami, and Lapis are stunners in the streets, but my all-time favorites are purples. But what about the greens? The viridescent side of Porsche that has seen 65 different colors introduced in the official Porsche Pantheon of Shades. Not to mention the thousands of custom green paint jobs that have flown in the face of tradition. Green is the color of life. It means rebirth. It means go. We're always looking to stand out in our builds. It's what sets us apart. I knew we wanted a bold, extrinsic design that matched the audacity of what we were doing with the body type and handling. We had our inspiration, and it had to be just as daring as our decision to rebuild this Targa. So I was sold on green. Yep, that's the color. Which could work on that. Of course Love Dave Shutton is going to paint this. We asked Dave to roll up his green sleeves and come up with a paint package concept and design that would be befitting of this off-road Targa. He researched and developed an incredible retro package <laughs> that's gonna rewind time. We wanted the paint to say uncontrollably wild, but with the intentions to go really fast where it's not supposed to. We started testing metallic greens, like Lago Green, Ice Green, Amazon Pearl, Adventurine, but we were looking for something with a little more life in the paint, a little energy to match the Targa. We wanted it to break speed limits standing still, so we started looking at racing greens. Porsche's classic racing greens have been found in personal garages and on victory lanes. So classic greens, like Nile, Oak, and Moss, carry an air of importance and racing heritage, but again, lack that morsel of feral wildness that we're looking for in this build. Viper and Lundgren Green were two colors we thought of when we were imagining our Targa's look. Other wild colors from Porsche's past were considered, like the rare Chartreuse Green, but ultimately, we landed on Lime Green. Color code 226 if you're keeping score. Lime green is just simply gorgeous. It's bright, it's got the yellows in it. I hadn't really thought about what the color is supposed to say to people. It's just a color I love. I wanted something that was really vibrant and alive. And this car is meant to be very active. It's meant to go off road and go places that Porsche normally wouldn't go. But we're going there. After Dave finishes the paint and detail of the Targa, it will go back to Santa Clarita for the engine rebuild, suspension, and other off-road upgrades. So Dave's gonna come up with a retro stripe package that's really bold in 70s and incorporates the sunset colors that you're seeing behind me with a really cool white trim. The full package will tie into the design of the body, suspension, and off-road upgrades. And lots more to come on that. But for now, we'll leave it here.